to rise up and be militant that the Lord will quicken us. Quicken us to prepare. Quicken us ourselves to be ready. The Lord himself will rise up. The Lord himself will rise up. The Lord himself will rise up and touch the world even at this time and punch up and punch up the lies of the devil and bring the people to light and bring the people to his truth in the name of Jesus Christ that the world will be ready for Christ in Jesus name. That the harvest which is plenteous will indeed be harvested completely and perfectly by the living church for Christ in Jesus name. Let us pray. Let us talk to the Lord. Let us ask and receive in the name of Jesus Christ that watchfulness and steadfastness that is required of us that the Lord himself will perfect it in Jesus name. That among the ten virgins all that believe will be the wise virgins. All that believe will not fall into the foolish virgins. All that believe will have their oil. All that believe, will, their oil will be running. All that believe, their oil will be set fast in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will confirm it in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Let us pray for our general superintendents. And for all the ministers the Lord has been using. Let us thank God for them. Let us bless the name of the Lord for them. Let us bless the name of the Lord for his unction upon our general superintendent, for, for his unction and wisdom upon our pastor, and ask the Lord increase it more and more. The days are evil. We need that sharp, pungent power. We need that sharp, pungent wisdom. We need that sharp, pungent uh, uh, messages to come and bring the souls out of darkness to his life. He has been doing it, but we need the Lord to double it. He has been doing it. We need the Lord to triple it, to multiply it a thousandfold so that more will come to Christ in Jesus name. May his impact affect the nations of the world. May his impact affect the continents of the world. May his impact affect the messages affect every country, every nation in the world. In Jesus name. Let us lift him up as the Lord for more of his grace, for more of his uh, power, for more of his anointing, for more of his favor upon his servants and all those that uh, uh, he has raised to hold up his hand to support uh, the work in the name of Jesus Christ. And in all other living churches that the truth is preached, that holiness is upheld, that the people are preparing for heaven. May the Lord himself increase uh, the, his blessing upon their work in Jesus' name. Let us pray finally for this, the crusade participants. The people that have been involved with all our crusades, we want to ask the Lord that every one of them that have come to Christ, may they witness their final salvation. May they be there saved on the last day. And uh, there will be no halfway believers that they believe for some time and then they go away. That they believe for a season and then they go away. But they will believe into eternity in the name of Jesus Christ. And there will be people with Christian conviction. They will not be wishy-washy kind of believers. There will be people with deep, deep, deep conviction. Conviction that lasts to the grave in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray that the Lord will preserve all the fruits of this crusade. All the fruits of the previous crusades. All the fruits of this ministry. The ministry has been going on for years. Yes, now the Lord Himself will do a new work, will do a powerful work, will do a glorious work, and present all the labor of the righteous in Jesus' name. Let us pray, let us pray, let us talk to the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Almighty God, we thank you and we bless your name for thy mercy. We rejoice in thy faithfulness, O God. We trust you have answered our prayers. Make manifest the answers, O God. Father, that the glory of Christ will be seen in your church.